Hi there, welcome back to the dojo. I'm Russ Leach, I'm the comic book black belt. And this is, I think it's the fourth in a series of videos that's, uh, they're, they're basically cataloging um, the work that I'm doing on, on my new book, um, Only Death Can Save Us. So uh, the first couple of episodes, they're about, you know, pulling the trigger, getting on and doing something, coming up with a storyline and the, and, and the idea for that. Um, and also about marketing and, and like, you know, do, doing things like your, your website and what have you and, and how important it is to just get the, the message out there. Uh, and this is specifically about um, about characters and character design, uh, the visual aspects rather rather than so much of the of the of the world building and story aspects. But obviously they all sort of come together as one. Um, the characters have to fit in the world and uh, the, the story has to work with them. Uh, th what you're seeing on screen and what you'll see right the way through this video is a turnaround of D death um, and um, it's it's my first initial pencils and and then through to some playing around with some color work and, and a finished turnaround uh, lots of people do their character development and studies in in many different ways there's uh, uh, some 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 illustrators and designers and creators will make lots and lots of uh, thumbnails and they'll come up with lots and lots of ideas and that is a really it's a good way of doing things because you're iterating through designs and concepts um, these uh, designs that, that, that I've put together it's specifically for D um, they're very much based in the world and the concept that I had for the whole book, the, the book as a whole. So um, they came to me quite quickly and actually I'd been thinking about them for a long time. So I didn't need to do lots of iteration thumbnails. Um, first off, Death is very recognisable. So he had to have some kind of skull-like uh, head. Um, and then on top of that, the whole concept for the book is a very cosmic bronze age marvel bronze age kirby-esque um environment uh, the, the 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 whole span of the uh the backdrop to the first story where um d and and chrissy you know get together to become the partnership that they'll, they'll be in the adventures they move forward into and the 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 whole arc of it as it were which there is behind the whole thing um the what's going on behind all that is is very much a, a, a massive cosmic um sort of environment where I, I i consider things like quantum physics and um and uh pseudosciences uh metaphysics all kinds of, of wild and wacky stuff that go in there but the idea is it's big and expansive and it just sits behind the the very um um I think there's it's a very uh, personal story between D and Chrissy and how their relationship develops along with the, the you know the the story the 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 running story not just the arc but the the story of the battle that they have against Satana who is the the bad guy um, so all that being said my characters kind of almost made themselves to a degree uh, because I had two things that I was I was coming at with the characters first death himself or D uh, obviously there's a recognizable aspect to them so I wanted a hood that's the first thing also there's a skull involved so that's the first the first aspect of, of that but also the warriors of light uh, the pillars of, of creation or the, the four horsemen that appear right at the start of the book and do have uh, some role in the story moving forward later on in the arc um i wanted to give them that kind of kirby-esque busima bronze age uh cosmic feel and also give them a kind of a pantheon of the gods feel so more asgardian than guardians of the galaxy say um more uh more uh mythological than star trek so even though at the core of it all there are some scientific concepts um i definitely wanted a sort of an an air of um 
of Dungeons and Dragons and, and sort of Lord of the Rings in space, <laughs> almost, uh, with, with, with modern scientific concepts applied to it. So bringing that all round, as I was saying, all these things flooded into the whole idea of how my characters would look that pantheon of the gods aspect so i wanted buckles i wanted um spikes i wanted um shoulder pads and uh leather or uh, uh some kind of armor uh, garments and those kind of those kind of things um uh, some uh, one of the other characters which i'll show in another video the next video what i'll do is i'll i'll put the, all the other characters in so you can see those guys um and also the uh the demon horde how i put together those demons and and the characters that, that came from that um but they all have this kind of um godlike uh, appearance so there's lots of chain mail there's lots of leather um there's uh, tunics and and spikes and shoulder pads and that kind of thing so that was the direction i wanted to go in um, and that's how it, uh, how, how my concepts, how the cosmic concepts and the pantheon of the god concepts all came into fruition as far as the visual look and perception of D uh, and of the other characters that go with D. Um, Chrissy herself, uh, she's, um, she's an ordinary girl. Um, and without giving too much of the, of the story away, her her appearance will change um but it's it's kind of right at the end of the story so i'm probably not going to be able to show you any of the concept work behind chrissy straight away I'll, what i'll do is I'll, I'll put a video up once the book is launched because there's a twist in in the tale and the big part of or aspect of that twist is the relationship between d and chrissy and what happens to them over the um, course of the the first book uh, and and then that has a direct uh, a direct influence over where that takes the next couple of books and where the arc goes uh, from there on. So although you can see, although the, although this video is very much about the the physical design and look of in particular D's character. Um, coming at those coming to the the, the 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 physical qualities of the character very much came from the story very much came from what had been written um so if you're working as an artist with an with a writer you definitely want to be involved in the conceptualization of the characters if you can be um and uh, and definitely you want to be coming up with concepts and visual working drawings so that you can get a real idea about what's under the hood of of those characters and how they would feel and how they might how they might um physically manifest themselves as well as their costumes uh, i think that's very important to get that that um that character in the way that you draw them it's not just about you know where the sword is or, or whether the uh, the what the, the boots look like when you're doing turnarounds you're actually investigating the character to a degree as well um as you can see what I, what I did was I, I put together the pencil work for the turnaround but I also started playing with just some um loose brush colors uh just to get an idea of, of what I wanted um this is uh it's it is a, a sort of a leather concept on on d but at the same time i wanted bright colors because uh, the, the bronze age concept was also about the look and feel of the pages and how the art would look and how the the story would come across so i did want bright colors um and as you can see when i when i start showing you the the final colors on the the turnaround um i wanted i i wanted flat colors so um and when i say flat i say like two-tone you know shadowing and, and maybe uh the odd light area but 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 mostly it's like kind of flat colors because they're very bold and brash um and i wanted a particular look to the way the book um was so that's kind of my journey as far as um creation of of the characters creation of of the of their uh costumes um 
and and how they kind of um, present uh, within the pages. Um, but after that, you come on to a very much a, a technical production issue of you really do want to produce turnarounds. So um, when you're in the middle of your pages, when you're actually drawing stories, you don't have to come up with the concept or fill in any gaps that there might be. You know exactly the way somebody looks, you know exactly the way your character looks and presents. And so it leaves you free to just get on with the flow and the, and the, the, um, uh, movement of the story um and and so you don't have to worry about exactly you know where a buckle goes or where a pad goes or what have you now some people like to produce character designs as they go and it was very much the case that when i did doctor who i had to do quite a few aliens like on the fly um a lot of aliens in crowds actually on the fly but even because we couldn't use um things like Daleks and what have you from the from the actual show because we had to stay within canon but at the same time produce new stories often we came up with different villains and I'd have to come up with a look for every one of those and I didn't have time to conceptualize those villains I just had to get on and draw them in the in the pages and there are lots of people that really enjoy doing that and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do like I say, with all the videos that I'm producing, this isn't here to teach you anything as far as uh, this is the way you must do stuff. This is hopefully some kind of self-teaching where you get to see the way I do it. And if it works for you, that's great. And if it doesn't work for you, then you, you know that that doesn't work and you can put it to one side. So um, it's it's just an insight into the way that I produce stuff. So. There are, there are artists and creators that like to produce on the fly. I personally don't like to do that. I can do it, and sometimes I do it when I shouldn't. Um, but I would I much prefer to have uh, a turnaround and to have an absolute, um, an absolute concept, an absolute idea of exactly what I need to be drawing, where everything is on a costume or on a character, and, and, and then I can get on with the, the movement and the flow of the story. So what I'll be doing uh, from here on in is uh, posting little bits and bobs onto the website, including this turnaround that I'm doing here. So um, at any point in time, people can go to the um, Only Death Can Save Us website and check out the, uh, the latest uh, imagery that I have to post. Uh, there'll also be an updated um, preview file as well pretty soon where I've um, put together a, a few corrections from my editor Tim Quinn uh, and also some suggestions um, from other writers as well. Uh, Feistorm was very kind and um, produced a, a little review of my preview and he came up with some very good suggestions which I've uh, incorporated into the into the preview files. So um, like I say I, I'll be updating that page or those pages um, especially the character design pages or character bio profile pages so that you can see as I go along uh, the, the, the characters flesh out as I get closer and closer to a production finish date. Um, that's about it for this video. Uh, like I say I'll, in the next video in the next uh, video for this series I'll be back to um, to outline some of my designs for the Demon Horde, uh, for Satana, and for the other characters. It, it won't show quite as much as this one. I'll, I'll focus just on the sketch work, I think, rather than the, the turnarounds. Um, but then I'll, I'll put the turnarounds up on the website, as I've just discussed. And um, and hopefully it, it will be of some use to other people, to you guys out there who are watching. Um, to see how I produce my book, my characters, my my uh, my stories, um, and uh, you know it it might hopefully be helpful for when you're producing your own. So that's it for now. Um, it'd be really good if everybody liked this. <laughs> so uh, likes are great. Uh, sharing the video is really really useful. Um, 
anybody out there who would like to subscribe i would be honored if you'd do that once again i'm going to bore everybody thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed to my channel there's been a few more subscribers even though i've been um uh light on on content of of, of late that will be changing um but uh thank you so much for subscribing and thanks to every to, thanks to everyone for for taking the time to, to watch my videos and listen to what I've got to say and hopefully it's of some use and of some help to your own uh, productions and your own creations and projects um, and if you can hit the uh, subscribe button but also um, go over and join the email list and you can get that anywhere from um, the uh, description below this video right the way through to all my other websites that's uh, russleach.com, comicbookblackbelt.com, onlydeathcansavers.com. There's links there for the email list. And that, that really is the way for me to get in touch with you and show you, uh, you know, what's going on. And I won't be filling your inbox up with rubbish. It's, uh, it will all be relevant and uh, it won't be often. It will be just enough to, to, to keep you up to date with what's going on. Um, and also, if you can, go to my Instagram uh profile that's uh that's just russ leach over at instagram and um that would be really good if you could follow there and i'll, I'll what i will be doing is uh, I'm, I'm already posting my previous work up there some marvel and um uh, doctor who stuff and what have you um but uh i will be posting up more and more only death can save stuff as i go along so you'll be able to follow along and see me penciling and inking pages and that kind of stuff so uh, i think that's just about all from me on this video um just thanks again for joining me in the dojo today and I'll be back with another video again real soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Comic Book Black Belt. If you've enjoyed the content from this video, please like, share or subscribe and come over and follow me on Twitter. It's been great having you in the dojo. See you again soon.